Hello, welcome back. So let's do an, an additional case. Okay, so I really like this once you go to your cases, your tutorials here, a static mixer. Let's open it here. So this one's really nice. First, because we're going to use revolve. So, so far we use extrude and sweep. Okay, so in this case, we're going to use revolve, but also love. But also what is interesting that here, there are many ways to do this geometry. Okay, just to stress, what I said at the beginning, that there are many ways to do a geometry. All of them are, are right. It's up to you to pick up one. And just to, uh, let me show you here that I already have it here. So see that in this case, we have the approach, the one, the most intuitive one. So it will be using revolve. So see that you create this section and then you revolve around an axis. Okay, so this will be the most intuitive one, at least for me. But there is a lot of people that take the, another approach which is the layer approach or the cake approach. Okay, so what they do is just to stack profiles. They, they stack different solids. So see that reference plane, create here a shape, do an extrusion now that you have here, create a reference plane there, and you have now these two and you do a loft here. Okay, so this is the additional step and then do another extrusion and then create the other two pipes. So as you see, you get the exactly the same results. Okay, what's it matter? It's up to you what you want to do. You are, you are the one to, to pick up another choice. And the last one is what we call the machinist approach. This is that you, were, you will do it if you were using a, a late ma machining tool. So basically in this case, you get a single piece of material and you remove material. So you're going to create this, you create this one and then you remove that material. See, you revolve and then you take this one. So also I didn't do it in the right way. Okay, also you, you can create it that and remove the material, but I put it li li like this to make it faster. Okay, so at the end of the day, you put all these three together and see that you get exactly the same result. It's up to you to pick up one approach. Okay, so here we're going to see this approach and then also I'm going to show you some extra tools, okay? Some extra tools that I haven't shown so far. So let's go here, create document, mixing, mixing tanks, one. So here you have all the dimensions. Let's take a look. This is what we have, okay? So I will choose this, this plane, okay? For no reason, I want to sketch there, but then it's up to you to pick up a reference plane. So see that I'm going to just sketch lines, okay? So just put in lines, and then you start to add dimensions, okay? So sometimes people start to create lines with the right dimension, and that is possible, but it takes more time. So see that as you take this approach much faster, you create an initial sketch, and then you add dimensions, okay? So this one will be 0 0.5. Then everything is scaled automatically, okay? And let me see what else you have here. This one is one. Let me see what else do we have here, okay? So this is two, okay? And what else do we have here? And dun, 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 the distance here, one. And then we have the other distance that should be 1.5. Okay, so from here to here, 1.5. Here to here, one, okay. So let me confirm that is right. Okay. So now that you have this cross section, you can go here, revolve the tool that we haven't used so far, select your axis, and this is it. You are done. Okay, well, we need to add the other pipe, so that, that is quite easy. So let me edit appearance here. Okay, so see that here we need now to add these two pipes. Okay, so let's do it. So now that you have this, we need to sketch 
this is the, the same front plane okay so let me sketch here and let's say that let me use reference geometry let me do some projection so i want to project this 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 and this okay now i can hide this let me make it everything construction okay select everything construction lines escape you have this and now let me con cons add a line here okay again this can be construction and now what we need to do is add this circle so see that you have dimensions there one one diameter one okay so let me go here and i put it here and let me add it here i can use symmetry but i will do it twice just to show you that sometimes it's a good idea to use symmetry but sometimes it might not be what you want so from here to here okay that is the wrong dimension sorry uh, i chose i don't know why it's getting there so here to here one here to here one here to here one here to here one okay and one and one and that's all okay so you have those two circles there okay and by the way just to show you symmetry we can also do it using symmetry okay so instead of doing this one two times okay let me raise this one just to show you okay erase as you go here mirror axis and you mirror so this is the case if you want symmetry but if you want to have this pi and other distance you should use the other approach it's up to you. I will leave it like this in this case. So now this is a mirror. So whatever you change here, this one automatically change. We have this one and now we can do this extrusion. So what is interesting, look at that. When you select faces here, see that you want to select the other one is hidden. It's difficult to select. So what you can do, hover it like this, or you can right click with your mouse and see that you have the option select other here you can select here the face see, and then you have it okay that is how you access hidden faces it's very helpful because now we need it so when we do this extrusion you need to select the face but see that you cannot access that face there because it's behind one so you right click select other and there you go Okay, right click, okay, sorry, select other, and you have it there. Extrusion is three, add material, okay. Or you can create a new solid, it's up to you. I will create a new solid for some specific reason that I will see later. And now do the same here. Faces, select other, here three but this one is the opposite change the vector there new material and you have it there now you can do the boolean this one plus this one plus this one okay it didn't select why it didn't select all okay now all of them and voila off you go in a few steps you have it there the other way to do it remember is the cake approach so that you can create a stack no different extrusion operation extrusion and loft so you can create this phase then extrude to here and then from here to here you create a loft i want to show you that i'm not going to do this stuff but i want to show you how to do this using different steps so see what i'm going to do i'm going to select this face here and see that you have this tool here you have different options here let's use first offset sur surface i selected the surface offset zero so means that it's the same surface and see that i will hide it here so i have the surface here 
and now let me create two other surfaces from this. So when you have surfaces, there is another one very helpful called fill. You can fill this hole here. So you select the edge and you fill. I don't want to merge. Okay, do not merge. Okay, you want to have separate surfaces. Okay, why do, okay, let me see here. Let me raise that one and that one, so. Okay, so fill. So that, that do not merge. Or merge, that's it, okay. So you have that one there. Okay, sorry, uh, new surface, I don't want to add. So see that you have a new surface. You do the same here, select here. Okay, merge with all, but also new. Okay, you want a new surface. Now, let me hide here. So I did those steps just to show you that this is a loft from here to here. Okay, so see that I'm going to do, so you do the loft now to show you also to create the geometry using loft. One profile and the other, and that's all. In this case, for me it's okay, the linear interpolation, but if you want, you can add guidelines. So you see that you can do this one by creating these two surfaces, love, and then from here, just select that, do an extrusion in this direction. So this will be two, if I will recall. Then an extrusion in this direction. This will be one, if I will recall. And that's it, you have it there. So now you compare the two, you just need to add the, the pipes and that's all. So if I suppress this Boolean here, now I'm going to have the pipes there. So, and I can create union, 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 and voila. And see that you have the same solid, but now using the, another approach, okay? The so-called K approach. So what is important here in this approach is that, okay, let me hide here and here, that you create these two surfaces. You, know, you can do these sketches, choose a reference plane, one here, the other here, separated by one, if I will recall, yeah, by one. And then do this love operation, you have this, and the rest is simple extrusion. One up, one down, and then you already have, from the previous step, the, these pipes, and then do the boolean. Okay, so as you see, many ways to do the geometry, it's up to you to pick up one and, and introduce new tools, okay? So the tools that I show you, that I show you so far are the more, most important tools. There are many more tools, and please visit the hell here, feature tools, and you have all the explanation of every tool, okay? There is one that might be, might become from time to time very helpful, the enclosed utility, okay? So, so you go here, you can understand what is this one, what it's doing. Okay, so that's all for this case. Okay, let me go back here. Uh, so we tested, so in these three tutorials we tested, okay, how to generate a geometry using the four, these four tools which are the most important one. Okay, you can do more complex things. So next video I just want to show you something a little bit more elaborated using this. So thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Bye.